Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video I'm going to take you through setting up PayPal payments with WooCommerce. You can see I've got it open on my screen now and it doesn't require a great deal of setup. It is enabled by default, uh, but there are a few things you will need to do before PayPal payments will actually work with your store. You've got the title and description here, which are automatically filled out by the plugin. You can change them, of course, if you'd like. Other than that, you just need to put in your PayPal email address. And a receiver email is only required in the instance that that is not the email address you want those funds to be sent to and it is different from the PayPal email address. Next, you can put in a PayPal identity token. It just allows you to have payments be verified by PayPal without the need to go through the IPN. To get this identity token, you can log into your PayPal account and find it there. Next, we get to choose an invoice prefix. And the important thing to do here is make sure that the prefix is unique because if you have multiple stores set up and running on WooCommerce and you haven't changed this, they'll both be WC dash as the prefix. And if an order goes through on one site with one invoice number and then sometime in the future, another order comes through from the other website, but a different uh, website obviously, and it has that same invoice prefix and per chance the same invoice number, PayPal won't actually let that go through. So make sure you have something unique. So it's something nice and different, uh, but also easy to recognize, hopefully. Next, you can choose the payment action. The default is to capture the funds. Alternatively, you can authorize those payments straight away. It's up to you what you'd like to do. Then you get to choose the submission method. The default behavior is that it will redirect to PayPal using a redirect and query string. But if you turn this on, it will actually post the order data to PayPal instead. In most cases, people tend to leave this off and just use the default. And just below this, we can set a custom page style. Uh, these are configured in PayPal, so you'll need to log into your PayPal account and set them up if you want to use it and then come back in here and put in the name so it could be you know my style or something similar to that just below this we get down to some shipping options you can see the first one is to send shipping details to paypal instead of billing and as it notes paypal only allows the plugin to send one address so if you're going to use paypal for shipping labels you might wish to send the shipping address rather than the billing address of course this is up to you and how you're managing your store but if that is the case you can just simply turn that on just below this, we can see address override. So you can turn this on to prevent address information from being changed. As it notes, PayPal does verify addresses, so it can cause errors and therefore is recommended to be left off. Just below this, we get down to some developer options. The first is to enable the PayPal sandbox and that can be used to test payments. If you wanna do that, you will need to go through to this link here, which is developer.paypal.com and sign up for a developer account. And finally, we can choose to enable logging. So this will just keep a log of PayPal events and here you can see where it's going to be kept. So it's going to be kept in the WooCommerce folder, logs, and then PayPal dash massive, massive amount of characters there, dot text. So when you've done making the changes you require here, hit save and then you're done. So that's all we need to do to go through the PayPal options and how you can configure it for your WooCommerce store. If you have any questions about what we've done in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe for more.